Hi, and welcome to the Jolly Day presented by PSP. My name is Jeff Paquette, and I will be helping you create a delicious holiday cocktail as well as a mocktail to go along with it. Now, I don't know about you, but I always know it's the holiday season when I see these little clementines show up in the grocery store. So the clementine is gonna be the key ingredient in our cocktail and our mocktail today. We're going to be making a rosemary clementine crush and is accompanying mocktail, same name, just without the vodka. One of the key ingredients that we're gonna to use today is an infused simple syrup. So this simple syrup is infused with clementine and rosemary. And here's how you make it. For the simple syrup, you'll need one cup of water, one cup of sugar, one clementine, and one to two sprigs of rosemary. Once you have them all assembled, using a small pot, put the one cup of water and the one cup of sugar into the small pot, stirring gently so that the sugar dissolves. With the clementine, Either use half of the peel or the full peel and put it right into the pot with the sugar and the water. The peel is where all of the flavor of this clementine syrup will come from. Lastly, the rosemary. Put however much you'd like. I recommend about half of a stalk of rosemary in. Now put it on medium-high heat until it is simmering and all of the sugar is dissolved. Set it aside to cool for one hour. Now that we have our infused simple syrup cooled and set aside, let's go over the other ingredients we're going to need for today. So you're going to need some vodka. You can also use gin uh, as well. It works very well with gin. Some cranberry juice soda water, the stars of the show, clementines, as well as ice, and the equipment we'll need is a muddler, the whisk for the simple syrup, and the tongs for the ice. We have a couple different glassware that we can play with, but let's get started. Now once you have all your ingredients ready to go, first thing you're going to do, grab your shaker and grab a clementine. I like to cut the clementine in half and peel half of that clementine. For this peel you can just discard and the flesh of the clementine is going right into the shaker, right in there. You can Divide the sections and then you're going to take your muddler and you're going to muddle that clementine to get all those juices in. This will really add to the clementine flavor to this cocktail. Once it's nice and muddled, you would add the ice, which I put into here. As well, you would add the vodka. So it's an ounce and a half of vodka. And then one half an ounce of the special simple syrup that we created. And then you want half an ounce of the cranberry juice as well. The cranberry juice is mainly just for that little splash of color and a little bit of flavor, but the main flavor comes from the clementine that we have muddled in there, as well as the special rosemary clementine syrup we created. So now that you have the clementine, the vodka, simple syrup and cranberry in the shaker, give it a good shake for about 30 to 40 seconds. That's good enough for now. Now it's ready for service. So we'll take a nice goblet style glass, 
fill it with ice. And then using whatever strainer you have, this one has a built-in strainer. You would strain the cocktail into the glass. It should come out a nice orangey pink color. There we are. From here, you would top with a little bit of sparkling soda. Or if you're really in the festive spirit, you can top with some sparkling wine, add a little bit more of an alcoholic kick to it. It's always nice to have that little bit of fizziness to a cocktail. Now using that second half of the clementine that you had before, you can cut it into some garnish. So you can do a classic, just half, half moon garnish, like so. Or you can get as creative as you like with it. For instance, I'll just peel this one. And I'm going to cut it into a little Christmas tree. Just like so. And there you have it. If you'd like as well, a little bit of sprig of rosemary in with your wedge. And there is your rosemary clementine crush cocktail. Enjoy. Now for the mocktail, it would be a similar process but a few key changes that you would make. Uh, mainly, no vodka. But the, the start is still the same. You take the shaker and you take half of the clementine, peel half the clementine, and add this into the shaker. You would then muddle this to get out that clementine flavor, that clementine sweetness. Now there's one ingredient that I'd like to add to the mocktail as opposed to the cocktail, and that's a little bit of lemon juice. It uh, brings out a little bit more of the citrus flavors that uh, the vodka would have done in the main cocktail. Let me grab that. So using the uh, measuring, do half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of our special simple syrup, into the glass, and then an ounce of cranberry. Then you would fill with ice. And shake. So for this one again, we'll take a highball glass this time. And you can strain it or you can just simply pour the entire contents into the glass. And again, it has that nice orangish pink hue to it. It's quite nice looking. To finish off the mocktail, same process. You would have a little bit of soda water. And then a nice little half moon clementine. Now another delicious fruit that comes out around the holidays I've noticed is pomegranates. So pomegranate seeds, you can buy them fresh or frozen. They make a lovely garnish on top as well. So you can just add a little bit of pomegranate seeds and it really brings out that pop of color with the orange and the red. So there you have it. The Rosemary Clementine Crush Cocktail and the Rosemary Clementine Crush Mocktail. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy this delicious cocktail. Happy Jolly Days everyone. Bye-bye.